Hey my peeps, I hope everyone is doing well. Hey, I was, as I was out and about, maybe a couple days ago, uh, God began to bring something to my spirit. I was in the, uh, the video section, maybe looking for some, you know, those cheap, cheap videos you like to get for the kids to put in your vehicle. Well, I was searching in the, in the, uh, in the dollar bin or five dollar bin there, and I was beginning to look at the videos and brought to my attention that on every different video, regardless if it was a cartoon or or not, there were age restrictions. You know, you have rated G, you have PG, and you have PG-13, and then you have R. And I began to notice all these restrictions that were on the videos, and it's good and appropriate. As I begin to walk on down and look at the video games, God brought that to my attention. Restrictions. And the restrictions in the ages changed just a little bit. There were restrictions for, for um, I know your teenagers, uh, your mature audience. Uh, different restrictions were on different types of gamings and whatever gaming system that they had. And I begin to think about the restrictions. You know, the world offers us so many different restrictions. And it's always changing. Always changing in life. It's never the same. I begin to look at the amusement parks. You know, I can't wait till my little ones get... Uh, just a, just a bit taller so we can bust off in, in Disney World and just ride all of the game, all the rides and just try to get it where, where all, all of them can, can go and at least ride some rides when we get to Disney World. But even on, on the rides, the roller coasters, the carousels, um, there's restrictions. And even on the small rides, you know, there's restrictions. They've got some of them where, you know what, hey, us big big kids, we can't ride the little ones anymore. So everything has some type of restriction on those things. And sometimes, you know what, the restrictions out there, it can leave, leave us confused in life. We say no at one age, and then we get up maybe five, ten years older, and we say yes. We get up from that from the teenager teenage years when we go into to, um, to adulthood. What used to be no, it's a it's now a yes. So, what our world is offering us and what our world world does to us, um, uh, it is often confusing. Our yes uh, is not always yes. Our no in certain times it will become a yes. Our yes at a certain time in the world it will become a no. But I am glad to know that I serve a God and an on-time God that when he says no, it means no. And when he says yes, it says he means yes. And that is the God I serve. A lot of times we make this Christianity, this walk in life, more confusing than it's, than it's needed to be. Our walk in life is not meant to be confusing. God gave us a set of rules, the Ten Commandments. It's not a bunch of no's. It's to tell us how to live our life. It's how to be set apart and live an abundant life. It's to keep us safe in His righteousness and His holiness. I am so glad that I serve a God that His yes is yes and His no's are no's. Our amens are amens. I'm reminded in Hebrews tells us that Jesus... It's the same yesterday, he's the same today, and he is the same forever. No matter what age you are, if you're just a if you're just a five-year-old child that just started kindergarten today, or if you're a senior that will soon be in high school, or if you're a senior that's in college, or if you're an adult that's trying to learn to parent. God's yeses are always yes. His no's are always no. And I'm so thankful that he gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us and direct us because we need that gift of the Holy Spirit operating in our lives daily, 
daily, every day we get up, breathe, every day we go to bed, we need the gift of the Holy Spirit operating in our life. Because this world is screaming at us. This world is confusing us. It's trying to turn us upside down. But when you surrender to God Almighty, He's never changing. It doesn't matter what age you are, what season you're in. Jesus, He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hey, I'm always praying for you. I can't wait to connect with you soon. And I'll see you before you know it. Have a great evening.